Hello everyone, Feed Jose for to back with another review. This is an Anglo Time deck. Um, I already had one before that I reviewed. This one's a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. And it's more or less the same as any Anglo deck. You got the King of Spades on the front of this one. That says Giant Anglo Office in Sweden. AK Aaron Hill. And you got a little merry go round horse, which is their logo. And this one, I should say, I got in a trade from someone on Facebook, Rick. Uh, special thanks for that. On one side, Ace, King, Queen, Zach. On the other side, Spades, Hearts, Clubs, and Diamonds. Just like most Anglo decks. Top says Design, A.K. Erin Hell, uh, Anglo Giant. For bottom, nothing. The back, you see the back design, which is a very special back design made this deck was for the world championships of magic stockholm 2006 awesome <laughs> i like it so then you slide the cards out slide the cards out you get some kind of information in there in austrian or something obviously you get that on one side nothing on the other the bottom it says 52 Court and Free Joker, that's 52 cards, and Free Joker is in Austrian or whatever. Whatever it is, I'm not entirely sure. And in the back, there's trademark information and the Anglo giant logo. Get to the cards. It's pretty much a standard Anglo deck. You get your number cards with massive indexes. Massive, massive indexes. As you can see in the center of the box at the pips is a slightly different color. We'll go through, see all the suits and everything. Court cards are just like all the other angle decks. Very interesting art, definitely not anything like a USB-C or Carter Munde deck. As you can see, I wish that Carter Munde would come up with something a little more original than basically using USB-C court cards. And these decks, the Ace of Hearts is the important one. And it has very logo on it with the little merry-go-round horse. It says office in Sweden. It's hard to read though because it's so tiny. Boom. So you get that. And more code cards. The cards do have, by the way, a smooth maybe plastic coated tennis i'm not entirely sure i guess so because it's a big card most jumbo decks are like that the jokers you get this one it's just a little con guy it says joker in all four corners in black and it is it's three jokers the ace of spades nothing it's just a pip a tiny pip Again, another joker, it's the same thing, so it's got blue stars in each corner. And then the last one, which is in here somewhere, is again the same thing, so it says joker in red, just like most Anglo decks have. Exactly the same thing. And you can see the sevens, but a different formation, but everything else is standard. The cards, if I compare them to another deck, you don't see we're about twice the size of a standard deck of cards. And like I said, pretty cool. The back design, you see a couple of hands grabbing this banner. That says, hello. Anyways, um, it's a couple of hands grabbing the banner that says the World Championship of Magic. Stockholm 2006 and FISM.com. Very interesting, very unique. And I can actually shuffle one, which is pretty interesting. I could even ripple shuffle them like that. Overhand shuffle. So they actually handle it right. It's a jumbo deck or a giant deck like no other. They even spread pretty good. I haven't tried fanning them yet, but they fan somewhat, 
they're, it's decent, it's, I mean, it's a massive deck, so it's harder to handle, but for what it is, it handles, it fans all right, it shuffles nice, it's got a nice stock, spreads nice, it's got a nice stock that's thick, yet flexible, I like it, um, like I said, World Championship of Magic, Stockholm 2006, I don't know if they sold these at that World Championship of Magic, or if they gave them away, or what, I'm not even sure how Rick got this, but as soon as I saw them, I, I had to have them, I don't know how rare they are, I've never seen anything like this before for World Championships of Gardner of Magic, so it was pretty interesting, I like the color and everything, handles good, unlike the USB-C decks that you see, it's half the size, I've got a USB-C bicycle deck that is that big, so it's freaking hard to manipulate, <laughs> but these ones, very nice, and I got another one, like I said, that's a standard giant Anglo deck, nice, I like them. They're a little bit difficult to find, and they do cost like 30 bucks, but this one was just a trade, and it was damn worth it. That's what I got. I'll see you next time.